Vegan Hall. So if you don't know, I just went vegan and this is my first vegan haul. First, let's go through Trader Joe's. So for ice cream, we got the Hold the Dairy mini ice cream thingies. Um, another friend had those and they looked yum. Mm -hmm. We also got the sandwiches, which are made with oat milk. I'm excited to try those. And I just saw this one, which is very chocolatey um, with fudge brownies. And these are vegan as well. Mm -hmm. And then we saw these tempura cauliflower type things. Um, they looked delicious. And I feel like they're gonna be really easy to just pop into the air fryer. And then I also got these orange chicken, which are vegan. Um, again, I could just pop them in the air fryer. I've had these before, they're delicious. Mm -hmm. I also got some veggie gyozas. I got a few things that I wanted to try. Butternut squash, we're making it surprise. Some hamica wraps. I don't know, it says tacos on it, but I don't know how I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> Some vegetable pasta. I don't know. How. We might put in a salad. We'll see. Mm. And some cheese alternatives. I love cheese and we have to try these. Like we have to. One's Parmesan. Yeah. And one's mozzarella. Mm -hmm. So this is one that I wanted mm. for my coffees. I really oh, love the good whipped cream, especially because a lot of like Starbucks doesn't have vegan whipped cream. And so oh, I got you. that. And then I love this um, marinated tofu. They have this teriyaki one and they also have a sriracha, a sriracha one, but this one's my favorite. Then we found this Jack Brew like barbecue. And I've been wanting something. to try this for so, so long. Yeah, it's so funny because when she showed me, I actually picked up the same thing and I was like, we did the same. <laughs> Great mind. Yeah. <laughs> and then we picked up some butters just the Earth Balance is one of my favorites. They're, for the most part, all vegan. So for snacks, we got some okra chips, some vegan cookies. We also got some dried mango and dried pineapple. These, these are our favorite. Like, we have to get these every time we go to Trader Joe's. You guys have to try them. We got some pumpkin seeds, because it's pumpkin season. So. And also, I wanted to get the pumpkin seeds to put on my smoothie bowls. Ooh, they're smart. So I like spicy things, so I wanted to try these spicy, uh, crispy jalapeno. I don't, know. I don't know if they're like chips, but let's try them. Let's see. I just want to. Oh, they are like chips. Fun. I think you're supposed to put them on top on of like a thing, salad or something. I just want to eat them like These chips. Are bomb. <laughs> they're good. These are bomb. You some. picked up some vegan mayo and some mixed nut butter to put on our smoothies. Noah prefers almond milk, yeah. and I prefer oat milk. Mm -hmm. So we picked up um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk for Noah. Mm -hmm. And for me, I got oat milk, but this one's the chocolate one. Mm -hmm. um, and I love this, especially when I'm having like chocolatey sugar cravings at night. In total, it came out to $115.30. We are in Oregon, so mm -hmm. there's no sales tax. Um, and I know that's a little bit pricier, but a lot of these things are already made, so that's why. So we went to Fred Meyer to literally pick up like a handful of things, and we got a little distracted. So we spent more than we intended to, but right. still we got amazing things. Yes. We got unsweetened coconut, and I love these because you can put them on your smoothie bowl, mm -hmm. and it really gives like a nice texture and nice sweetness. Cool. Silk almond pumpkin spice creamer. Um, we tried the Starbucks one, but now I wanted to try this one, and it looks super yum. We also got this Ripple um, plant-based half and half. Um, and I wanted this specifically because you can cook with it, but also oh. we have flavorings for our, our coffee. And so I wanted to like, I didn't want to mix pumpkin with like the flavorings. So I wanted to like make my own lattes with this. So we'll smart. see how that goes. You got some smart bacon. And then I also picked up some vegan noodles. Just like, I love this, but I just want something like warm and I just add a bunch of veggies to it and tofu. Got some mini sweet peppers. No I usually, loves those. Yeah, I use it for dip and hummus and all that stuff. He likes some roasted too. Mm. Got, oh, another. Another same one. Thing. Just Different a flavor. flavor. Oh, oh, I, I mean, got these. Yeah, it's 
like chorizo. chorizo sausage. And I thought these would be really good with breakfast, like maybe a tofu scramble or something I'm down. like that. That's I also picked up some nopales. I picked up some cans of beans. Mm -hmm. And I got better than bouillon, and this is the vegetable one. Ooh. So this one is actually vegan. The one I have, which is like the Knorr's tomato-based one, is not vegan. It has like chicken stock in it or something. So I decided to get that one. And I've been wanting to try these tofu noodles. So whenever we make like a stir fry, I'll probably throw these in. Got this plant-based ranch for dippings, salads, whatever. And some vegan chocolate chips. This one's vegan and sugar-free. Yeah. And then I wanted some sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so I this got the semi-sweet well. ones from Simple Truth Organics, and this one's actually vegan. It's no. made with soy, not with milk. We already opened oh. these up. We walked into Fred Meyer and we saw these. They had chili limon chips, and they are so good. They're so good. And the last thing I got were these onion buns. Um, we have some chicken patties that I wanted to use it on, and also I wanted to use it for the jackfruit, like barbecue thing that we bought at Trader Joe's. We spent a total of $74.74 at Fred Meyer, and that is really pricey, especially like for two people. However, yeah. this is gonna last us like literally a while. over two weeks. Yeah. Um, we'll have to like replace some like fresh veggies and stuff, mm -hmm. but like the ranch will last us. The creamer is gonna last yeah. forever. So it is a little bit pricey. Also, we did buy like meat alternatives. And if yeah. you don't buy meat alternatives and you kind of stick to like- Just basic veggies, yeah. nuts, like stuff like that. It's because less. these are literally like five to six dollars each. Yeah. And yeah, that can be really pricey. Um, so that's our haul. And we'll be posting, well, I'll be posting what I eat in a day, every day on my TikTok and YouTube shorts. So if you guys wanna see how I make my meals, definitely go check those out. Mm -hmm. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting there as well. And yeah, if you guys wanna see anything else or any recipes, leave them in the comments. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.